So we have seen how we can clone a GitHub repository set up on our local machine using HTTPS. But now I think it's a good idea if you can also understand how we can clone set up Git using SSH. So SSH configuration is sometimes seems difficult, but uh, I will try to make you understand easily how easy we can do this. All right, let's move forward. Okay, so to make a SSH request, what you need to do, first you need to jump, use a command over here, SSH, use key gen, and you will write dash small t, after dash t, you will write ad2519. Okay, then dash capital C, and in this one, in the double quotes, you will write your email address. Right, I'm writing my email address over here, and you will just hit enter. So, what it will do, it will give you enter a file you, in which you want to save the key. Okay, so it will just generate a public and private key for your SSH configuration. If you don't provide any name, it will create a file uh, inside your user folder, like I have a HP folder over here. Within that, there is a .ssh and it will create id, ed, something like this. Okay. So I am not going to give the file name. I am going to use the default one, which is fine. And then it is asking a pass phrase. It, this passphrase is quite important. Use any few digits or few numbers or alphabets. I'm going to use Word Windows, okay? Over here, just hit enter and I'm going to write down Windows again. Okay, and just hit enter. So it has generated the passcode. Okay, I just visited my SSH folder, which is in my inside my C colon user at B and dot SSH. And here you can see we the SSH key gen just generated the file which has a public key and a private key. The content of the public key, if you right click and open in, I have not paired plus plus, so it will show you something uh, key file which has a public key and we will copy all the content of this key file and paste it inside the github account okay how we can we will do this let me copy this over from here and i will visit my github account again okay mm -hmm. let me bring this window over here and inside of my icons like this just click on the my okay icon and click on settings over here in the setting i have a ssh and gpg keys and this i have got these are the keys because my window is so small so that's why it's showing like that to show you um, i have already a installed a key over here i'm going to just delete this key okay i understand and i'm going to delete this key now I am adding a new key, which is this one. And I am going to paste this key inside of this. Okay. And I'm going to write a title. Uh, the title can be uh, like I, I am going to use the same one. ED20519, which is the algorithm that we have used. And I'm going to add SSH key. I need to confirm my password to add a key. And here we go. Hey, I have successfully added the key in this one. So this key has been added. And here you can see my key is over here. The next challenge, uh, there is a private key which, uh, which should be in our system to configure it. So we know. So the next task is to configure this key configuration that we have done and uh, like how we are going to add this key into our account. I am going to delete all if there is any existing SSH key. So I'm going to write that 
dash tad dash capital T that will just remove uh, could not open your authentication agent it means that there is no uh, SSH key is running on our machine just let me enable the SSH I'm going to write eval and then I'm going to write SSH dash agent so uh, a new SSH ID uh, agent has just started what I am going to do now I'm going to write SSH dash add and in this one I'm going to write tilde sign and dot SSH so it will take directly to SSH and then I am going to add the name of the file which was id underscore ed25519 you just hit enter and it will ask you the passphrase that you added you will write bin uh, dos because i was using windows as a passphrase uh, in which so th that's fine I, if i will hit enter identity added so it just added the identity this is the process and uh, which is critical now let's go back to our uh, account I done just going back to the CD and LS first now I'm going to create a, another directory mkdir I'm going to add a SSH version something like this and, it, and let's call SSH version inside of it and I'm going to write down git clone and in this I am going to paste the URL and just hit enter let's see if it's going to work uh, I sure want to continue mm, yes I would like to continue okay and it has just bring the changes so I am good on this one get the status um, okay I first need to go inside first project and then I'm going to write ls readme.pile touch mm, index dot okay let's write touch index dot html code dot okay code dot akil and inside of this index dot html going to write the html5 code HTML5, let's move to right there. Okay, I trust the author of this file and write h1. In this h1, I'm going to write my first word check using SSH uh, configuration. Okay, just save the changes closing the project file and write down get the status okay get add dot get comment dash m and message index dot html using ssh i get uh comment done now going to get get push over here okay and we are good on this one Guys, I believe I did a mistake uh, or I didn't tell you in my first video when I was setting up the HTTPS you have to uh, add the public key in your GitHub account even for HTTPS I already have that's why it didn't give me the uh, error but maybe you face the error if you are following along with my tutorial you understand how you can generate a key and how you can submit a key and paste the key inside github.com.